Hey guys. Um, today I'm I'm not gonna do the regular, well, sort of the manga and the anime review. Today I'm going to do my first Japanese drama thing. You know. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the my favorite all-time beautiful review. Okay. So the show, Koizora, it's three things. It's a manga, um, a drama, and a movie. Each one is a little different, but it still sticks to the story. I just finished the manga right now, and it it is doesn't have the ending because, or I mean the English version doesn't have the ending yet. It's only, it has eight volumes, it's only to chapter 22. I've seen all three, and the the manga still doesn't get to the ending yet um, that the movie and the drama shows. And the movie and the drama have the same storyline, but it's, there's things that are a little different because, you know, everything has to be in a certain amount of time. I first came upon the movie, um, I was just was looking for something and it was right there on the YouTube thing, so I clicked it and I fell in love. Oh my god. It's just like, well first the guy was really cute, which is like, so I watched the movie and it was pretty much the saddest, most cutest, most, you know, wonderful thing I've ever watched. Oh my god. It is so freaking cute. But yeah, it's the best thing I've ever seen. Um, I'm trying to get my friends to watch it. They have to see it. You guys have to too. It's the most wonderful thing thing in the world if you really like cute stuff and like really cute stories and really sad stories or or just like a drama or I don't know it's 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 for you I'm saying that so this is the storyline I might give you I'm I'm pretty much gonna give you the whole movie so if you don't want to watch just skip over this part or something okay this girl named Mika it starts out with her in high school and she ends up meeting a guy named Hiro she sort of sees him as like a bad boy because of how he looks I mean, he has like really blonde white hair and he has earrings and kind of just the bad boy type. At first she's like, doesn't really want to go out with him or anything, doesn't want anything to do with him. But then he kind of persists and eventually they start going out, their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. It's like destiny that they're together. There's drama that goes on between them two because even though they're dating, things happen to Mika. like. Well, for one, she gets raped, so that's the one big thing that kind of that kind of uh, makes him more connected, because he now wants to protect her, and and she just kind of like can't be without him because she's scared pretty much, and because of this rape that happened, um, it's because of Hiro's ex-girlfriend. Um, she keeps harassing Mika to break up with Hiro. And yeah, other things that happen, like, I mean, with Mika's family and just them two getting, like, them two working out but also being happy. And the movie, the movie and the drama end or begin uh, differently. It's in the movie, them, they come together because Mika lost her cell phone and... And then Hiro um, kind of erases all her numbers and is his is the only one. So they, during their summer break or during their break of school, they end up talking to each other. And that's how, and she doesn't know who he is. So that's how they kind of connect and see who they really are without yeah, actually knowing each other. And the show, um, Hiro kisses Mika. Um when she's trying to give a note to uh, Hiro's friend for her for her friend and and then so that's how they get connected in the drama and in the manga um, Hiro and Mika kind of meet the same way as in the movie um, they I mean uh, Hiro kind of gets her number and starts calling her and texting her but tells him she 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 kind of gets an idea of who he is um, but doesn't actually know who he is. So when she, when they first meet, she's kind of shocked and um, thinking like, oh my god, this is actually the guy. 
And so that's how they both are different in that way. It's little things are different. And then along the way, um, she actually becomes pregnant uh, by Hiro. And, and that is another way how they become more bonded. Um, because Hiro really wants this baby. So that's when they try to convince their parents to keep the baby and whatnot. Yeah, she has a miscarriage. Every Christmas or something, they put flowers and little gifts by, uh, they make a little grave for the baby. Hiro kind of goes into a depression almost, and he kind of avoids Mika and changes his hair. He just kind of goes back to his old ways of, of being a bad boy. So Mika gets called to his house and they go to a party and that's when Hiro's friend kisses Mika. And he saw that and which she thought he didn't and then she kind of like was all grossed out of it and like washed her mouth, whatever. Yeah, she comes back and sees him kissing another girl and then she kind of gets like overwhelmed and runs away. And then the next day, um, then he wants to break up with her. And because of this reason that she kissed another guy, and she kind of fights back and and kind of says, "Well, you kissed another person too." And and then you, when she gets mad and like just storms out, um, you see a really sad, sorry look on his face because I mean it's really painful for him to do that. But before this, he finds out that he has cancer. And she doesn't know this, but he wants her to start living a good life. Um, because, I mean, he's not going to be there forever, so he's, he's trying to, co trying to help her not, he's trying to not cause pain to her, and by doing this, he wants them to break up, so when he does leave this world, he, she's not going to, she's, she's not going to be, it's not going to be so painful, and she's not going to remember him that much, and she's kind of, he just kind of wants her to forget about him and move on with her life and because she he's not going to be there forever. Yeah, so after the whole incident with their breakup, um, Mika eventually finds the guy who's in college at this uh, Christmas party a few years, uh, a few months or years later. A guy named Yu, um, he really likes her and yeah, they end up being together and you don't see this, but or she doesn't see this, but um, Hiro is actually looking out for her while he's um, sick, and kind of is. It kind of seems jealous in the movies. I mean, in the movie and the show, um, you see him watching her, and in the manga, it doesn't show that at all. It just kind of shows their relationship, and but every Christmas, you know, it's he. She has to remember him, and that's kind of painful for him and her. I mean, he, or you wants to protect her, wants to make her happy again, and she really loves him because of that. And and she still doesn't know that Hiro is dying while she is being with you. You and Mika have her first Christmas, and on that Christmas, um, she, wants, she has to go to the baby's grave, and when she does this, she meets um, Hiro's friend, who she kissed that night at the party. He tells her that Hiro is actually dying and has always been waiting for her and just kind of wants to see her happy and um, and doesn't, just kind of watching out for her. And she learns this um, and then eventually goes back to uh, to Hiro and, and kind of stays with him until the very end of his life. Yeah, it goes into a little depression, but keeps, you know, living on through his love. If you're into reading the manga, you're going to learn a lot more backstory for certain events um, in the movie and the drama. So it might be a good idea to read the manga first if you want to know just different details. Whichever one you guys want, um, whichever's faster for you, whichever you want to get to the point to. Wouldn't want, some people just want to know the storyline, some people want to know like the whole Shabang. I don't know. Um, just whatever you prefer. I mean, it's a really good story either way. Um, so go and watch it.